Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Let's play a little game today. A little game called Would You Rather. Um, my daughter loves these little Would You Rather books, the one that makes these two pieces, uh, made these two pieces of fine art here. Uh, would you rather, so would you rather do one thing or do the other thing? So I figured we'd play a take on that with watches. So would you rather have one watch that's about a thousand bucks or three other choices that I'll show you? I think it'll be fun and it kind of shows you how much you can do on budget if you want to, um, you know, maybe give you some ideas. Speaking of, I guess, not having a budget, <laughs> this is uh, my Yacht Master, which I guess with a recent birthday, just turned five years old for me. Uh, and then another favorite blue, haven't worn him in a couple of weeks, I think. The Matic blue on the white rubber strap. Uh, let's, let's play a little game. So here we go, let's play a little game of Would You Rather. So the Would You Rather watch is a Marathon GSAR WW194006, uh, happens to be US government version, doesn't really matter. Uh, they sell for a little over a thousand bucks, right now a thousand forty. Um, kind of a advance notice, all Marathon products are going up in price January 5th, I believe. I'm gonna do a newsletter on it, um, so if you wanna grab something, you can grab it before the increase comes. Uh, so definitely subscribe to our newsletter. I'll try to put a link or something over here for that. So what does the GSAR get you if you're not familiar with the watch? Well, it's a 41 millimeter, really a tool watch, right? Beautiful bezel, very, very clicky, 120 clicks. Um, automatic, runs on a Solita uh, SW200 movement. Um, but what's special about Marathon mostly is that they use tritium tubes for the hands and the marker. So these are radio, uh, radio luminescence, um, radio luminescent hands and markers. So they're little glass vials. They're filled with uh, radioactive hydrogen gas, tritium, and the inside of the vials are coated with a phosphorescent coating. The radioactivity of the gas decaying releases particles. The particles interact with the phosphor. The phosphor glows. So to get this watch to glow, you don't have to do anything. You just turn the lights out, and it's glowing. Uh, it doesn't glow as bright as Superluminova does for the first 30 seconds or so, but Superluminova dies fast. This stays steady. Glows for, you know, 10 to 20 years. Uh, the half-life is like 12 years, I think, so it easily glows for at least a decade. That's the big draw of these military watches with tritium, is that they, they glow very well. You wake up in the middle of the night, you can see them easily. Beautiful watch, but it is, you know, kind of pricey. Uh, like I said, a little over $1,000. Surprisingly, though, still a very good seller for $1,000. Is a 300 meter water resistant, um, I guess, I guess it's called a dive watch. It's called the GSAR uh, Search and Rescue Watch. So, you, let's say you don't want to get this and you want to spread your money on a couple other things. So, these are my three picks. You know, you sound off below if you, uh, whoops. If you think, you know, I went a little off, you could just go somewhere else. What I tried to do is encapsulate everything that this does into three watches. And then a little bit extra, as you'll see. So, the first one, the, the, the first box I had to check off was Tritium. And kind of uh, an abuse uh, field tool watch. So, I went with this Bertucci. This is, I get my notes out. Um, this is a Bertucci, what's the model number? A... A5S Ballista. Goes for 395 bucks, okay? So it is a full PVD case, beautiful, easy to read black dial, nice syringe hands with tubes as well. So tritium tubes, has tritium markers. Uh, it's, with the, whereas the G-Star was 41 millimeter, this is uh, 44. So it's a, it's a larger watch, but it has no bezel. So you kinda, kinda really can't tell. It is a screw down crown offset at the four o'clock position there's a date hiding under the minute hand currently let me try to unscrew this with gloves on da, da, da. comes on this awesome uh awesome nylon strap with matching black hardware uh runs on a swiss quartz movement the battery is a 10 year battery so that's awesome yeah it's not automatic but the battery's 10 years so you're not changing the battery you know for a long time it does have a sapphire crystal like the GSAR. Uh, it is 200 meters of water resistance, so not 300. Um, like I said, and 395 bucks. So, in, so this gets you, you know, like I said, it gets you the rugged toolness and it gets you the uh, the tritium 
that you need to, to match the GSAR. The, I could have picked a lower cost marathon to fill that niche, but I wanted to be able to just go outside the brand and just find some other stuff. So now let's say, you know, say Mark, but I did, I still want a diver in the collection, a true diver with a dive bezel like that guy had. So I'm going to go to one of Seiko's new releases for around 550 bucks. This is that SRPG. I think this is a fifth, whoops, wrong notes, 59. It's that save the Oops, size, save the ocean, uh, Antarctica edition with the cute little penguin feet. So this is the mini tuna. Beautiful textured dial. ISO rated diver, I should say the GSAR is ISO rated also, but the 300 meters. Um, which means it's actually tested to 375 meters of depth because uh, ISO 6425 requires you to go 25% over. Has lovely penguin tracks across the dial. Runs on a 4R36, hand winds, hacks, 40, um, 40 hour power reserve. Uh, size on this guy is, let's see, 43 millimeters in diameter and 13 thick, 44 on the tip to tip, so kind of squat. It is a dive watch, like I said, it is ISO certified, comes on a nice gray strap. Um, is an auto. Uh, whereas the Bertucci was quartz. So this guy's an auto. So now we check off the auto box. I feel like at this point, not the auto bots, the auto box is different. Uh, I feel like at this point now, I've kind of given you almost everything that the marathons got. Um, I've gotten you a dive watch. I've gotten you an auto. I've gotten you tritium in the other one. I've gotten you the toolness in the other one. And we're actually only at um, around 900 bucks or so. So 950. I said, you know what? Why don't we try to round out the whole thing and just throw in something for $160 that I feel every collection simply must have. This is the Bambino. This is my favorite Bambino. This is AC quadruple zero 9N with the cream dial and blue hands. I do not believe they are true thermally blued hands. They're probably plated or painted, um, as you can see right there. Yeah, they're definitely painted. But they are gorgeous. The The play of one off the other is amazing. It's Orient's own hand-winding hacking in-house movement. So now this is uh, another watch. The Seiko is in-house movement, right? And the Orient is in-house movement. Domed mineral crystal, uh, 40 and a half millimeters in diameter, 11.8 thick, beautiful leather strap. So between this, the Seiko, and the Bertucci, you are just around the same price as the Marathon. It's within about 50 bucks or so. Um, so I guess you make the choice, right? What do you think? What, where is the money better spent? I think it's definitely, definitely 100%. It is a, uh, a choice that you make. There's no right answer for everybody. And of course, you pick different choices. Um, but perhaps you have all watches like this and you want the toolness of this guy. Then this, you know, makes total sense. But again, I'm trying to show you that you could spend the same budget and you can get three watches. And this would probably, is, is it a three watch collection? Yeah, I don't know. I guess it could be. It depends what, you're, what you want in your collection. Um, but I think it certainly does the trick. And we had a little fun doing it. Anyway, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe channel if you've not done so. Questions, comments, your picks. Put them down below. Be sure to address them, read them, comment as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.